All right, into the freezer with the Galaxy Note 2. There you go, little buddy. Two hours. See you soon. I hope it makes it. Let's see how our Note 2 is doing in here. Okay. Alrighty. Admire our crystal formation. Swipe to unlock. Oh yeah. Tiny bit sluggish. But launches apps just fine. Touchscreen is still pretty responsive despite the cold. I think we can call this a pretty easy pass. Looks like our Note 2 is baked. Timer off. Let's get it out. Let's see how it's doing. I'm not getting such the bad. Oh no, there's some bad chemical smell. Yeah, there it is. It probably isn't that safe to be off-gassing these kind of fumes into my house, so maybe next time we'll do this with the windows open. Okay, let's unwrap it, see how we're doing. Does not smell good. You know, I'm just gonna open the window now. I'm just gonna come to think of it. It's probably not such a bad idea. Okay, let's see if it's too hot to touch. Of course it is. The hotness, the hotness. It was the hotness, it still is. All right, let's see if we can get it to come on. The metal parts are particularly hot, of course. Ouch. Anything? It smells like burning plastic. All right, nothing so far. Definitely does not want to come on after its little stint in the oven. We will let it cool and check on it in a little while. Our Note 2 is all cooled off, only slightly warm to the touch. Now let's see if it turns back on. What? Come on. You gotta come back on. Everything come back on. Uh oh. Little guy. Don't die on me! I wanna do like sneak PR. Come on! Come on! Okay, um, I guess we're gonna plug it in and then see. We're gonna plug it in. We're gonna, maybe the battery died. I'm sure that's it. Be right back. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in. I just can't believe this is possible, that the heat alone could have done it in. Look at that. It drained the battery. This thing went in on a full charge. Now apparently the full charge is back. Okay, let's see if we can get it to come on. You guys, I was pretty worried. Okay, then of course the big test will be, will it stay on? after we unplug it, which I'm sure it's going to. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, waiting, waiting, all right. That's back on, it says charging. Okay, let's unplug it. Now we're back to full charge, we're back on the Wi-Fi. The screen is working, connected to the Wi-Fi network. Okay, all right. Well, I feel like we basically gave it the emergency paddles and now we have tone. The phone is okay. All right, bud, you like that phone? Yeah. It's pretty nice, be careful with it, okay? okay. All right. Here we go, give it a kick. Just make sure it gets all the way down there. <laughs> You're being careful. You can pick it up and throw it, you can just toss it. Maybe try bowling, there! Now we're talking. Good job. It kind of broke. It broke. All right. Let's put some stuff down and then check it out. Now, why did you tell me to do that? <laughs> You're not supposed to tell them that I told you to do that. Okay. That was realistic. But. Like most of these phones, as long as it can come open, it can protect itself. It looks like there may be, there's definitely a little scuffing on the screen. 
I can't tell if those are actual scratches or just scuffs. Here, hold on. Let's do the pants test. Oh yeah, we've, we've actually got some legit scuff marks on the screen there, which is kind of surprising. Maybe not that surprising. Okay, let's put our cover back on. Got a little dirt, not too major though. A little scuffing on the side here. Okay, the back is back on. Let's try to turn it on. Oh yeah, no problem, didn't even restart. Okay, so it's all right with a pretty easy drop. Maybe we'll take it up a notch. Keep on going. Now here's something a lot of you suggested, the phone falling out of the car when you get out. And since I said that Celso, our camera guy, does this all the time, we're using his car. It's like a real life reenactment. All right, so say I have it in my lap here because I was using it for directions, getting all my things, getting out. I'm like, uh. oh no! Oh no! I like how it tried to slide under the car, too. Very dramatic. Okay, we have a, oh! Oh, um, we broke it. <laughs> okay, that's pathetic. I mean, I know it just went down the stairs, but dang. Between this and the scratches, it seems clear that this is not made of the same stuff as the Samsung Galaxy S3. Look, even the pen wants to come out. I guess our drop test is a failure. I'm still working through my shock and disappointment at this screen completely cracking on what seemed like such a small, innocent drop. But that said, it's not dead yet, so I think we're gonna have to keep trying to kill it. Now I know the water test is unfair at this point, but you never know, so let's give it a go. Marinate a little. Oh, look at it bubbling. Just bubbling away. A witch's cauldron of broken phone. It's trying to shut itself down. And that seems like a good moment to rescue it. Okay, come on in, little guy. Don't worry, it's almost over. It's still on, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and choose power off. As so many of you have urged me to do, turn the phone off. All right, I'm gonna dry it out. I have to be kind of careful drying it because I don't want to get cut. Poor little thing, gosh. Okay, so because it is not a unibody design, I'll take it all the way apart. Dry off the pieces. Get as much water out of here as I can. All right, and now today we have kind of an interesting little dry bag proposition. This company, Beastie, sent us their pre-made, beastie, I don't know, pre-made dry bag removes water from personal electronics. So since we've gone through quite a lot of rice and silica gel packs, figured why not? Oh wait. Oh. That's annoying. Hold on. I'm assuming that I'm supposed to do not remove beads from clear pouch. Oh, that was close. Interesting, okay. <laughs> I guess if I used it wrong, it would've been kind of bummed. All right, let's get our phone in here. It barely fits. I think I'm gonna have to take the beads out and then put them in after. <laughs> Not meant for phablets. Maybe they'll come out with a new phablet sized version. Let's get our battery in here. our beads down, seal it up nice and tight, and we'll see if we still have a functioning, although fragmented, phone in a couple more days. Well, we know how the screen is doing. Let's see how the guts are doing. We did find out, by the way, that Beastie makes bigger size dry bags for iPads and other devices, so you don't always have to have such a tight squeeze. Okay, you gotta be careful. Ooh, look, the battery started to go back in. There we go. God, that damage is so upsetting. 
get the back on. Ow! I'm okay. Let's see if it comes on. After submersion. Ooh! It does! I will be afraid to manipulate the screen in any way lest I be injured, but at least it is functional because screens can be replaced. That's actually not that big a deal as long as it's still working. Uh, let's try to unlock it carefully. All right, pretty impressive. It comes back on, seems responsive. And it looks like actually it's even managed to get back on our studio Wi-Fi. Not bad, I will say that at least in terms of the water test, this is a pass.